Today, I've got the opportunity of visiting our recent listing in Asa del Conde, a modern villa priced at 3,895,000 euros, but we're going to do it slightly different, and I'm bringing on our two sales agent, Alessandro, who is Dutch, who's been with us for a year and a half, but previously was two years in real estate in Marbella as well. Hoi iedereen, I'm very happy to be back on the YouTube channel and show you this amazing villa today. Awesome, and also Melvin, who is French, who joined us recently, but has been seven years in real estate in Marbella previously. Bonjour tout le monde, un plaisir. I'm very happy to be here because I really like this kind of design of house. Fantastic. So, something's happening different. I think again the idea, yeah? Let's go. And what's going on? Well, both Melvin and Alessandro have been taking on more and more clients and showing more properties like this one. So, even though both of them know the house already, I want to take this opportunity to show to them how I would like to them to show the house to clients because it's all about details. Details matter so much. Anyone can show a house, but to really sell it, to be a good real estate agent, it's not that simple. What we never have to forget, most important, is that we are selling to a client the dream. But not only that, through the transaction, we go through every single step from the showing of the house till the final giving of the keys. And we must be as professional as possible at the every single step, giving attention to every detail and even anticipating ourselves before any problems occur. That's how we win the trust of the client. But that's another story. Today we're going to start from the step number one, which is the showing of the property. So I'm really interested. Take it easy, okay, no pressure. We're going to go through it and I'll underline just my view of the house, of every room, and you will show me how you would show it, underline your view, what you think is most important, etc. Okay, you ready? Why don't we start, Alessandro, with the square meters? We have a plot size of 1,420 square meters and a total build size of 907 square meters. There is six bedrooms, six bathrooms, more one toilet in the entrance. Okay, perfect, so that's easy. Before we go in, though, what would be your two favorite things about the house? So my two favorite things would be definitely the location and the architecture of this house because I think this is really a special type of architecture. Okay. And personally, my favorite plans of the house will be the open plan of everywhere in the house and mm -hmm. also the lot of light, natural light that you have inside the house. Okay, very nice, beautiful, we'll get back to it. So as you've seen, we had a, quite a long passerella, which is very nice, because whilst we were talking, we could still enjoy the architecture, which is very beautiful. Exactly. And, but apart from that, we have an entrance to the basement as well, very important, which is pretty big, not so easy to find in this level of prices. I would agree with you, the open plan, I love it, and also the fact, maybe I would add, garage and the um, flatness of the garden, which is pretty big as well. Shall we go in? Yeah, good, let's go. So, we are almost straight in the living room, and the living room in this house is one of the most special features of the property, for sure. So, who wants to start first by pointing out the most interesting details for a client? I will start. So, coming back to what Melvin said, here we can really see the open plan of the living room with the lots of glass, which gives a lot of natural light. And then the outside stones are the same as here in the living room, which when you open all the doors and the windows, it gives a feeling of a great outdoor and indoor flow, which almost enlarges your living room. Absolutely agree with you. The stone actually was a marble or ceramic? I think it's ceramic. Would yeah. you be able to guess the size? That is a very good question. I'd say about 90 by 90 maybe. Pretty close. I'm pretty sure it's a meter by meter. But anyway, which actually things about sizes, for example, Melvin as well, good point, and Alessandro, um, I used to do one thing that really helped me in the future. Whilst I would go in the house for the first time, I would always think in my head, what's the height of the ceiling? What's the length of the living room, the width? Then I would repeat the same experiment with the pool, with the bedrooms. I would have like a special laser that after I would say the numbers in my head, well, it kind of looks a bit awkward with the owner maybe when you, but you can explain actually, you just pull it out, you check, and then you solve, you fail, you fail, but then every time you get uh, the meters right. And when you're in a house with a client, he says, what do you think the living room is? And you're like, boom. And then he checks, you're like, whoa. And that's just practice. So, good question. What would you think is the width and the length of this living room from the wall where we have the iPad, which, indicates me that the house has full domotic system, which it is, I've checked with the owner. Not only that, it also controls air conditioning, floor heating, and even all the surround system and the curtains. Yes, which is blackout and normal. So what would you guess, as whilst I was talking, you had time to prepare. 
length by the width of this living room? I would say 12 by 7. 12 by 7. Alessandro? I'm not entirely sure, but I'd say something about 13 by 8, maybe. 13 by 8. We don't know, okay? <laughs> they were not supposed to answer this question, and I don't know either, but I don't even remember what you said now, but roughly, I would say 11 by 6, 7, 6, 6 and a half, let's say. <laughs> Let's write later on who guessed it. But it's normal to get this wrong. This is completely normal. These are the things that you usually would not expect to even know. A client would not expect you to know. You're not an architect, you're not a builder. But that's where we need to go a step further. Perfect. Okay, so let's carry on. What we have here. In the second part, you have a very nice dining table of eight person more or less. And also in this part of the house, you have a big kitchen top like marmol a full Schmidt kitchen and Miel appliances. Okay, very nice. Yes, a lot of surface, you're right. Beautiful view, by the way, through the window. Yeah, exactly. Details like that. And pretty much, I would say that the fridge is not standard. It's no, double. It's, it's, it's a, very exactly, big. Exactly, it's a double size fridge. As you can open, it's easily 1 meter 90, which is a Miel appliance also. And with the window just behind you, it's for me a plus for the natural light coming inside the house. Yeah. As I mentioned when we came in, this living room to my feel is like one of the most special features of the house. There's so much light coming in. Also, I love how the architect, even though it's already open plan, he still integrated the lobby and the staircase visually as part of your living room so that when you're here or you're sitting on the sofa, it feels even more yeah. bigger. That's the thing also that many times when we deal with clients, when they see at houses from plans, uh, especially if they're not built yet, and they calculate the square meters of the living room, but it's really difficult to imagine all the other extra things that can be done to make it feel much bigger. Yeah. Will be interesting to see who got the meters right. And I really recommend you guys to practice that skill over and over and over again. It really is an impressive one when you get it right all the time. And same thing actually happens with the square meters of the lot and the square meters of the house built. Many times you see a house when you're going to list it before you even know any details about it, right? And then the owner says, well, he, typically he would say, what do you think about the price, right? He won't say, what do you think I'm big with my square meter? But then you can say, I think it's three million, four million. But or you can say, you know, I guess your plot is 1,300 square meters. Your house looks like it's about 385 or to 400 more or less. So therefore the price is this. Again, boom, it's like no one does that. Little details, but that is the difference. So, another quick question, because I'm all about these details and all these things. How long is the pool? That's a good question. I would say 12 meters. I'd say about 13. Okay, I'll go for 13. We'll check it later. And so, the fact also is maybe to say that there is the house is the house is in two parts. You have a first part here for the laying places, okay, and the other part maybe for the chilling area around the bedrooms. That's right. I really yeah. like how they've designed it. So it's kind of that's more the quiet part next to the bedrooms, away from the pool, and this is the chill out area. Also, I can notice there's a door there. That's for the gardener most likely. Another nice detail. He can go in straight in here. Don't have to walk all the way as we did which is very practical. And for example, one of the suggestions I would have, if you're gonna be bringing here clients all the time, would be very nice to speak to the owner who was the builder yep. and find out an estimated budget to put glass on top of this pergolas. Because there's so many of them, I'm sure every two second client that comes in, he will be saying potentially he's interested in covering this to make it more usable, right? Yes. And therefore, instead of, let's anticipate, yeah? yeah? straight away. It costs 22,000 euros to cover this whole thing in glass, all of it, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah? It's good to anticipate this kind of things and then it's much more helpful as well. Any other things that you want to underline about this terrace or about this outside area? There is definitely a lot of seating areas, which is nice because everyone has kind of their own separate space. And I think the barbecue area has been really well done as well. Absolutely. Actually, now that I'm standing here, it's really funny. This house over here, we had it listed um, maybe about four years ago. 
it was actually we had a video on it on our YouTube channel and that video had the most number of views of all the videos that we had That's back true. in those days. That's pretty funny. And we had it listed um, somewhere around 3.3 million, I think, or three. Do you remember, Alessandro? I think it's between 3.3, 3.4. 3.3, 3.4. The square meters are exactly the same. Yeah. This was approximately four, five even years ago. Okay, so that already gives me an indication that um, an indication that if that house for the same square meters was for sale 3.3, 3.4, this one 3,895,000 euros. Four years later, in an already completely different market with the same square meters, newer, fully furnished, seems like a really attractive price, right? Yes. Yeah, I get it. Again. How do I know this? From the years of experience, from knowing the market, from going into every single house and remembering it as well. That's what also marks a little bit of difference. So that already indicates a good point. And when you speak to a client, it's a fact that can help you also in the negotiation. Mm -hmm. And coming back to the architecture. There is a possibility to make a winter terrace close by the glasses. Yes, absolutely, definitely. Okay. What else worth mentioning out here? One more thing that I wanted to mention as well, that for a newly built villa, the gardens are very mature, which is a very nice feeling as well while you're in the garden, because it gives a lot of privacy, first of all, some shade, and it looks good in general. Yeah. Absolutely. Speaking about the gardens, I'm making mine like, we are very close to the Los Naranjos Golf, also, which is a good point of the house. And speaking a bit more about the location, what do yes. we have? So we're inside of Asa del Conde. It's on the upper part of Nueva Andalucía, very close by, just under La Quinta area. As Melvin said, very close to the golf courses. And it's about five to seven minutes away by car from all amenities. You do kind of need a car because it can be a little bit steep. Um, and then, of course, we have a neighbor here as well, which is listed for 17.5 million, which is always a good neighbor to have as well. That's the interesting part about the location that I was waiting for. I mean, you have a neighbor of 17 million euros to a house of 3 million, almost four. You want to mention that to the client. The bedroom. This is one of the six bedrooms that you have in the house, which is everything in the gray tone. It's easy for the buyer to Absolutely. change the design if they mind or yes. as they want. You have a nice wardrobe behind me and a nice also bathroom with a LED system of light. Awesome. Ale, what about the other bedroom? I'll show it to you right now. So coming into the second bedroom on the ground floor, again we have coming back these grey tones and then we have the bathroom here which are more earthy tones with a sink stone which is a pretty fun feature, some LED lights which look really good and then it creates a real cosy and nice vibe in this bedroom. We are back to the hallway where everything almost started. So, another important detail, we've got two bedrooms on this floor, so two bedrooms upstairs and two bedrooms in the basement, which works okay. Please. Coming this side, you will see a double height ceiling full of glass and also these very nice olive trees in between the two wings of the house, which separate the two terraces of the bedrooms. Okay, we've got a skylight and there's one bedroom over here which feels slightly spacious than the ones downstairs. The bathroom's a little bit bigger. Also, as it's more elevated, it's got much more natural light through the floor to ceiling windows, which make a corner in this case, further light as well. Same amount of wardrobe space, more or less. Again, beautifully decorated and overall a great feeling. And on this side, we have the master bedroom. So, walk-in closet made of natural wood. Do you want to, Melvin, go in the bathroom, check it out? Yes, of course. And as you can see in this bathroom, there is a full wall of glass, which gives you a nice view from the shower, especially this shower, which is a waterfall system. You have a very nice marmor style with the same type of tile everywhere, which I mean, you have the same wall than the floor and the system of the shower inside for the exit of the water. Beautiful. Decoration, fantastic. You've got the extra space for your sitting area next to the master bathroom and also a big terrace, which is a great feature to have in any bedroom with a beautiful view of the La Concha as well. Very nice, Alessandro, right? Yes, I agree. This is definitely a fantastic space to enjoy either the shade or the sun, depending on the hour of the day. 
and we checked with the developer and it's actually possible to put a jacuzzi on this structure if you would like. Amazing. And you can see it's like a modern valley here up in Nueva Andalusia. Okay, well, last to check is the basement. Let's go. Let's go. There are several fantastic rooms in the basement, starting with this one, for example. Yeah, definitely. I think this is a great space and a lot of potential to put a cinema here as well. Yeah, it could be easily a cinema. Exactly. And the good point also is, as all the other rooms, you have windows. Yeah, that's very important in the basement. It's also spacious enough. It could be a kids' games room, for example. The bar area is pretty nice as well. Depends on the usage, of course. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? In the basement, just on the right, right next door, we have a spa, which is a nice hammam, huge yeah. place. There is a lot of space inside with a toilet and a shower. Yeah, that's a important. And also the hammam is very special, very beautifully done and very spacious, bigger than you would usually see in private houses. Yeah, especially at this price point, I think the hammam is very much... Very nice detail. Yeah, very nice. Then you can also have this, might be like your relaxation area after mm -hmm. the spa as well. Exactly. Then we had... Uh, Staff quarters there. Yeah, with the kitchen. Are, exactly. And also... Yeah, with the kitchen and another bedroom. Very big actually bedroom. Yeah. Actually yeah. very big, very nice size. Almost master bedroom size and some nice wall decorations as well. Again yeah. with natural light as well. Yeah. And a big old bathroom. Yeah, and okay. huge walk-in wardrobe as well. And your guests would love if they stay there <laughs> exactly. for sure. And then the last thing the was... Is the garage. Yeah. Which is a big garage. You can fit easily three, four also five cars, depending on what kind of car you have. Yeah, absolutely. So it has a really long drive, very private, nice to maneuver, very nice detail as well. Because you can still park lots of cars outside if you have guests exactly. or anything mm -hmm. like that. But apart from that, there was also laundry. But generally, I mean, the house is pretty much fully equipped. Fully equipped. Are we missing anything? No. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour with us. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below. Well, this was a cool experiment. I enjoyed it a lot. Let's see what your comments will be about. We are also happy to receive criticism. No problem at all. And we see you very soon. Exactly. Guys, amazing. Yeah. <laughs>